Good morning, my friends. It's Katie Rubin, your friendly neighborhood modern mystic energy healer, divine light channel, spiritual teacher. How are you? Coming to you live from Philadelphia, PA. Side note for anybody from Philly, I love your city so much. It is the most down to earth, but dynamic, lively, diverse, alive, real, fun place. I love it. I'm like barely awake doing this three card spread because the way the day laid out, the only time I have to tape this is early, early in the morning and I'm not an early lady. So bear with my sleepy eyes and my breathy morning voice. Just think of it as like a, you know, like a radio show situation. This is my morning voice. All right, <clears throat> I've pulled cards for us today from the Work Your Light Rebecca Campbell Oracle card deck. I'm a big fan of this deck as well. Just felt like switching it up today from our regular amazing deck by Colette Baron Reed that we usually use, the Enchanted Map deck. In the recent past position, we have one of my favorite cards in any deck ever, all decks. Tarot, all the decks. You're already doing it, says this card. <clears throat> Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. This is in the recent past. You're already doing it. How encouraging is that? I don't know about you, but like as a self-employed person where like all the things I do are creative projects or energy work or clients. It's all like nebulous and comes from wherever it's going to come from, hopefully. And like you do what you can and you say the prayers and you pull energy in and you make your videos and you do whatever you do. But like, you don't know. There's always a risk of like, does, does this business even exist? So I can have questions personally a lot about like, do I need to blah, blah, blah? Should I also blah, blah, blah? What else needs to happen? And then it's like, Sometimes you get this card and it's like, ha, ah, you're already doing it. It's happening. Present moment, it says, trust the niggle. You know that idea of like that niggling thought? It's an idea of like, it's bugging you in your head. It's a niggling thought. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? I have to say I'm a little uncomfortable with that word at this moment in our cultural history because I'm like, I don't want to know. Like, is that, are the origins of that word okay? I should research it and I will after this video. The outcome is another very satisfying card. This deck, by the way, Work Your Light Oracle deck, has two very satisfying cards in addition. So three very satisfying cards. You're already doing it. And the one we have today, yes. <laughs> just say yes. And then in this deck, there's also a no, just don't do it. I find it very satisfying. The ego and the mind always want answers to questions that are very simple, and very locked down. That's not at all the kind of guidance and direction I regularly get for people in the Akashic Records or here. It's like, well, how do you feel about it? And well, it would create this, but it wouldn't create that. It's not always yes, no, but then sometimes it is. In fact, regularly it is, but regularly it also isn't. So when we pull a, a card like this, I find it very egoically, excuse me, satisfying. So let's read what the deck has to say about each of these. You're already doing it. Again, in the recent past position. And in the meantime, as I pull this up, I want to share with you guys last night here in Philly, I went to see Matt Frazier live. If you don't know Matt Frazier, he, there's a reality show about him, I think on E!, and he's a psychic medium and he walks around the audience wearing a fabulous shiny gold jacket and he just bees his fabulous over the top wonderful self and he walks up to people and he's like your mom is here and she won't leave me alone your dead aunt is here your baby died your mom was murdered like he just sees all the dead people and has a comes up to you and sort of like helps you process what happened and makes everybody feel better and is also like delightful and silly and over the top the whole time and I just loved it. So Matt Frazier fans, go see him live. He's fantastic. All right. You're already doing it. This is the recent past position card. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Do not question things so much. 
Katie. <laughs> you're on the right track. You're facing the right way. Stop overthinking it. It's happening and you're closer than you think. You're exactly where you need to be and things are moving at the perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, this is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane, water your own garden, knowing that your time to bloom will come soon. You're already doing it. Keep going, it says. And then we come to this really fun, okay, even though I'm a little worried about the origins of this word, the Trust the Niggle card is such a nice encouragement after, particularly after, like, you're on the right track, you're doing it right, everything's good. And then, so trust that little feeling, that little knowing, that little poke, poke, pokey thing that keeps, I should go to my friend's party on Saturday. And you're like, I don't even want to go, and why would I go, and it's far away. But that little niggling voice is like, go do the thing. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? That annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient annoying feeling. Try as you might, it's there and it isn't going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings, throwing their best dollops of stubbornness, ego and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting. And, if, and until you face the niggle, life just throws you more bait to awaken it. To draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out the niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Often we feel the niggling feeling in our body first. Many people think that intuition is something from the higher realms, but in fact it is the body that is the intuitive one. <clears throat> Working through our senses to deliver vibrational information. It takes just a moment every day to scan your body to receive the intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly. You are being called to face the niggle now. If you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path, and then you will likely regret that you didn't answer the niggle in the first place. I know it's scary, but you're safe. Answer the niggle now. God, they say that word a lot in this little entry. Work your light inquiry. What is your niggling feeling trying to tell you? Fantastic. So you're already doing it. Don't overthink it. You have some, a little awareness that won't leave you, some knowing, some feeling in your body, some intuitive hit. I should this, I should that. I know it's this. I should call this, but I don't want to. I should, it's going to be hard. It's going to take a long time. Or uh, why would I do that? Or that seems weird. Those are all judgments we have in response to the niggling feelings we get. So the card is saying in this present moment, and by the way, it's in the present moment position, just listen to it do that thing and the outcome is yes just say yes i mean i don't know if i need to read anything because it's pretty simple what that card means oh my god this is hilarious look what it says <laughs> two pages two pages of huge yes and the work your light homework is don't overthink it just say yes Okay, literally that was just the word yes written over and over again. Okay, so in the recent past, we've been encouraged to go, listen, you're already doing it. You don't have to trip out. Just keep going. Just keep facing your true north. Do what you've already been doing. Trust that little intuitive poke, poke, poke that won't leave you alone that's probably coming through your body or however you get intuitive hits. And the, the answer is yes. Around the corner, we're coming to the results and the results are yes. So if you're making a big decision or you're in the middle of a transition or you're making a small decision, it's a yes, apparently. Um, good to see you all, except that I can't in any way, except energetically I can. Good to feel you. I can certainly feel you. Um, what do I have to tell you? Okay, All the Answers podcast, free, everywhere you get podcasts. We're very funny. 
uh, Cassidy, Jamal Brown, and I are sassy and irreverent, and we poke fun at all kinds of things and have all kinds of deep, deep conversations about life. And then we have a guest on, or we don't, and we open the Akashic Records of the guest or of all kinds of other people, places, and things, and ask very deep questions. Lately, we're really exploring the relationship between spirituality and consciousness. Um, but we also, it's also mixed in with a lot of dick jokes. You're welcome, because that's our brand. That's our style. Lowbrow and the highest of highbrows, all in one place. Um, my Sunday healing class will be starting again just in a couple weeks as will my Tuesday star beings class. The topic of the Sunday class is gonna be clearing all your resistance. We're gonna look at and understand the way resistance is in the way of everything you're desiring to have and experience in your life. And we're gonna energetically clear both sides of each of the polarities you're carrying res resistance around. So for example, the way resistance works is like, let's say you wanna lose weight but you grew up in a household where people said you have to be perfect. You have to look perfect. So everything in you is going to go, fuck you looking perfect and rebel against losing weight and being perfect. So you have resistance to losing weight because your childhood said you had to be perfect and you're now resisting your childhood because that's what human beings do. And at the same time, you don't want to be overweight because the culture says you have to be thin, you have to be thin, you have to be thin. So you resist being overweight or like not losing weight. So now you're stuck between two walls of resistance where you resist what you want because of reasons and you resist what you don't want because you think that if you resist what you don't want, that's how you keep it away. But actually now you just find yourself stuck between two polarized sides of two different judgments. And then when you release this and release this through the energy healing work we do, you find yourself free unencumbered to just make choices based on what you desire in the moment. And so you might lose weight or you might not lose weight. You might find you don't give a fuck anymore. You might find you do and you're willing to take action, but it comes from a totally different and non-judgment based place. And what a gift that would be. Wouldn't it be nice to be free of those two polarities? So that's going to be the topic and the focus of the Sunday class. Um, and star beings class on Tuesdays is just Next level, next level, next level. It's that class is really for star beings, people who sort of can relate to that term. I'm a star seed, I'm a star being. You have a feeling of being of that phrase making sense for you. And you're interested in activating your light body, healing your spiritual DNA strand that connects you to the universal all that is. And you want to do your emotional growth work at the same time. That's what star beings class is. I transmit the high frequency light of different star nations each week. I love you guys so much. Have a great week. Please take care of yourselves. And, you know, at the end of our podcast, we always say do your work. But the Pisces moon empath in me wants to say like, be kind to yourself while you do the best you can at doing your work.